Welcome to this short clip on the Return Material Agreement feature in SAP Business One version 9.3. Please review this legal disclaimer. With Return Material Agreement, you can now create a return request or a goods return request in sales and purchasing, respectively. This pre-step captures the agreed quantity, prices, return reason, and return action. For purchasing in the goods return request, you can manage serials and batches. The request transactions create an allocation on the item master record. Return requests and good return requests are available in the open items list and can be added to a service call. Our business scenario is as follows. A customer purchases three printers from OEC computers. One is faulty and he needs to return it. The returned printer is captured in the system via the return request document. Let us have a quick look at this in SAP Business One. The customer purchases three serial numbered printers. Let us go to modules, sales, and we will bypass the sales order and go straight to delivery. Choose my customer, Mexitec. Choose the item, rainbow printers. Quantity 3, add. We need to choose the serial numbers for these three printers. Let's do an auto select, update, and add this document. As per our business scenario, the customer calls to say that one printer is faulty we can open a service call and add a related document to that service call. Modules, service, service call. The business partner is MaxiTech. Item is Rainbow Printer, subject, Faulty printer. We can add further details such as the origin, problem type, etc. We add this. We go back to that service call and go to related documents. Click on details add a new document. The document type, AR documents, we look for the return request. Click on OK. And we get the return request form. We could copy from the delivery that was sent previously. The last delivery that was sent was this one. Choose And we've been told that it's only one printer, so we type in one here. Add. And we now have the return request added to this service call. Within the return request, we could add further information such as the return reason and the return action. In this case, the customer is returning this printer.
Let us have a look at the delivery. Modules, sales, delivery, the last document we created. The delivery still says three open items. Let us also look at the item master record. And look at the stock data. Currently, it says ordered one. This reflects the allocation that has been made by the return request. Once the printer is returned, we go to the open items list, modules, reports, sales and purchasing, open items list, and we can look for open documents, return requests. We can choose our document. We can copy this return request to a return. And we can return this to the returns warehouse. At this stage, we can choose the serial number of the printer that was returned. Let's assume it was this one. Let us look at the item record. And look at the stock data. The item is no longer ordered and it has been moved into stock in warehouse 02, which was our returns warehouse. Let's go back to that return document and let's look at the relationship map. You will notice that from the delivery, a return request was created. And from the return request, we created a return. And also, there's a service call that has been opened for this particular return. That completes our demonstration on the return material agreement feature in SAP Business One version 9.3.